Hey folks, Meech, Meech Makers. Hope you're having a good day. It's a beautiful day here. Um, I've been doing some work on our, well, first of all, let me say, it's finally dry enough that I can get to and continue creating the ponds on my property that I need to make to hold water, uh, retention ponds and all that. So when it rains, our driveway doesn't get washed out and we have a um, place for all the water to go. So stay tuned. All right, folks, here we are on our back. You can see here's our chickens. This is uh, one of the back roads that we use to get around the property. So obviously I'm in the gator. So let's take a look and see what we've done here. All right, this is one retention pond that I just finished working on here. You see the driveway in the background. Okay. So, this is one retention pond. Now as we go up the hill here, you'll see our front, our front pond. And I started this pond last year and uh, it got so wet, I couldn't get in because I got stuck. I don't know how many times I got my tractor stuck in here. But it's dried out. I got in here, and I've been doing some land leveling and uh, <laughs> fixing it up a little bit. So let's take a look here. So this is... Uh, This mat goes up, goes around through the woods, and also goes down and comes out over by the driveway. But this is this is the pond that I've been working on here. Okay, so you can see our culvert there, which is going to be an overflow now because I don't know, know if you can tell by here the elevation I've got it. So we have a little pond here. And then when this gets deep, it'll overflow right here into this little recovery area, which will then drain it out underneath the driveway. So, but this was, I've cut down all, I had so many trees that I cut down between here, between the road and the, for the power lines, that uh, this is, this didn't uh, get taken care of in time and it was too wet I kept getting stuck down here well now we haven't had rain in so long I've been able to get in here and uh, make it make it work so stay tuned well this is a spot that I have I don't think I've ever brought you down here before this is the bridge this is the front of our property along the road and this bridge obviously goes over the creek now let's let's walk under down underneath here and see what we can find. Hopefully we don't have any animals uh, underneath here. <laughs> yeah, somebody obviously spent some time putting some rocks up here long before we got here, but uh, this is the creek. Let's see if we can get down here to the creek here. There we go. This is the, the. This is right at the road of our property. Like I say, there's the bridge. And if you go up that way, you walk up up the creek to our property. Right up here. Here we are up from the, walked up from the bridge. And this is a look from the bridge, looking back at the property. And uh, you can see a little, we started making a little bridge for the gator and stuff. We, we still got some work to do on it, but we're working on it. And back behind there, you can barely see the, 
turkey enclosure, but that's where the turkeys are. And uh, right through, right through the over here is the pond I'm working on right now. So it's coming. It'll take some time, but we'll get it done. All right, here I am. There's the bridge I was just showing you. I'm on the other side of the bridge. And as you can see, we're coming up on our turkey and meat bird enclosure. You can see the turkeys here. Look how big the turkeys have gotten. Look at this. <laughs> Check it out. Check out all the little little ones here. <laughs> Now see, look at these right here. You'll see that the two in front here are a week older than the three there behind. And another one coming up. There's only a week difference. Look at the size and look at the size difference. And there's only a week difference in their age. Obviously the turkeys are bigger, but the chickens, those chickens are all only one week apart. Look at the size difference. Now, you look at this, this one right here, and it looks like, oh my gosh, there's no feathers on it. That, that's, that's the breed. That's the Cornish Cross, which is what these are, the chicken meat chickens. Same thing that you buy in the grocery store for your chicken. Same thing. They don't, they're, they grow so fast that they don't develop feathers, except for where they need to cover. Almost like the turkeys. If you look at the, if I lifted up the wing of one of the turkeys, you'll see there's no feathers underneath there. I mean, nothing underneath, too. Keep some cool. You look, at, look at the turkeys. Yeah, it's like they decided to come out. You guys, you ladies, oh yeah. The turkeys coming out. Come on, turkeys. Come on, turkeys. Come on, turkeys. Come on, turkeys. Come on. Come on, turkeys. <laughs> Look at all the little ones running around here. <laughs> all right, well. It wouldn't be an update without showing you the chickens, my egg layers, that uh, we're actually getting 10 eggs a day now. Yep, they're doing good. So. Alright folks, um, hope you enjoyed the update. I'm, uh, I hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe. If you have any comments, please leave a comment. Thumbs up. Let me know what you think. Okay? And we'll catch you on the next video. Bye-bye.